Hi, my name is Dr. Anna Baranowski, and I want to talk to you about post-traumatic growth and recovery. Last night, my alarm went off at 2 a.m., and I really had a hard time figuring out what the problem was, and of course, it was kind of annoying, and I wish it wasn't happening because I had to get up in the morning and work and, you know, all that stuff, as you can imagine. I wanted to figure it out, um, and... You know it was just actually tough because the alarm was whining and you know I wanted it to end but it kept going on and on and finally I had to just get out of bed focus on the task at hand find the problem find a battery fix it and get back to get to bed and then you know what happens you start thinking about oh why did that have to happen and I'm so annoyed and blah 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 and you know we kind of wind ourselves up into an unhappiness scenario where we're really you know, creating a recipe for ourselves for unhappiness. And then I remembered this recipe for unhappiness um, written by Fred Marmarco in Inquiring Minds from a number of years ago. And I really want to share it with you because it made, it laugh, made me laugh at myself. And I want to see what happens when you hear it yourself. So this is it. Recipe for unhappiness. One cup of what is. One cup inability to accept what is. Three teaspoons complaints, one teaspoon light whining, quarter pound alternative scenario, preferably unattainable, one bunch of actual reality, one pint idealized worldview, two teaspoons perfection, four sprigs, envy, minced for garnish, and a light large bowl. Whisk together what is with an equal amount of inability to accept what is. Stir in complaints and let sit until brooding and sulking sets in. <laughs> Add a dash of light whining, especially in the company of friends, but be careful not to over season or they won't hang around. And in a separate bowl, add alternate scenario to actual reality from your garden and separate leaves from stems. Then try to reattach leaves in the exact pattern that they existed before separation, pour in an idealized worldview and process in a food processor using on and off turns. And when the mixture is puree, add to what is an inability to accept what is to the blend. Add exactly two teaspoons of perfection and let stand until tears form. Garnish with minced envy and serve immediately. I mean, it's easy to see yourself in this because we all take times when we wish things weren't the way they were, we feel frustration, you know, we resist, and it actually makes everything feel so much worse. So see if you can laugh a little bit at the predicament of getting stuck in unhappiness. This is Dr. Anna Baranowski wishing you a gentle day. For more Ask Dr. Anna videos and information about post-traumatic growth and recovery, subscribe and like our YouTube videos at What is PTSD or join us at previous video episodes in our playlist Ask Dr. Anna from the Traumatology, Traumatology Institute, Institute team. <laughs>